Hi, Khan. Hello, teacher. And how are you today? I'm good. Okay. Khan, today we're going to do, I just want to show you, I just want to type it for you here. Uh, it's a cue card. Um, or ILTS, so let me just move this up so I can type it for you. Okay, the cue card says, describe a time when you gave some helpful advice to someone. Okay, then you should say, Um, who gave advice to what the advice was, why you gave the advice? Okay, um, and explain how you felt about the advice. Okay, that's the cue card. Okay, so the cue card is part two. I will type up here part two. Okay, describe a time when you gave some helpful advice to someone. You should say who you gave it to, what and why, and explain. Now, advice is something you give. It's a personal opinion. Uh, it's your opinion about something. If you think it can be positive or negative. If you tell me, teacher, I want to go ice skating without a helmet. Then I will say, Khan, I don't think that's a good idea. Because when you fall, you fall very hard on ice and you can hurt your head. You can get a head injury. Or I can say, Khan, that's a good idea. But remember to take your helmet with. So advice is my opinion. It's not a fact. Okay? It's trying to help somebody. When you give advice, you try to help somebody. So it's usually good advice that you give. Did you give advice to anybody? Maybe your sister, your brother, your cousin, your, your uh, friend. Did you give advice to anybody? Mm. No. Okay. Now let me help you. So we can say our introduction. Okay, our introduction can be um Okay. Well, in my country, um, people give free advice to each other all the time to help each other. People give advice even when nobody is asking. They just give advice anyway. They do it to show care and help others. That's your introduction. That is why we give advice, okay? Uh, now we can say the who. There's the who. Who did you give advice to? Okay, today I would like to talk about a time when I gave advice to my cousin. Let's say your cousin about what studies he should pursue. That means take for his senior for his senior secondary education. Okay. Now you're going to say what? What advice and why? and why you gave the advice. Okay, now here is where you will, um, where you will 
that is the main part of it. Okay. Um, so here you will say, my cousin had recently completed his 10th standard. Uh, standard and he was really confused about which stream he should opt for so he didn't know what he needed what he had wanted to take he had the option to choose between science commerce and arts that was his options his doubts were related to career prospects. He didn't know what he needed to take and what he wanted to be in these streams. And most, Im most importantly, he asked me that which one is easy or difficult to pursue, to take, okay? Since he was, <coughs> say again. Um, um, question, um, what commerce is? Uh, science, commerce, that's, um, uh, that's almost what you, what you have to do with the world. So um, when you, uh, it's commercial like um let me just see the right word it's difficult to explain um it's it's to do with the world uh, commerce means buying and selling on a large scale like social studies i don't know if you do that at school sometimes it's a it's like um it's almost like maths but commerce is, you can say anything, you can, we can take that out. We can say here, science, uh, business, business studies, business, oh, okay. Studies. Okay. Commerce, business studies. there we go. Yes, business studies and art. It's like the selling and uh, when you sell and buy things, okay. Um, since he was tired of studies, um, he did not want to put a lot of effort, but still he wanted to have a successful life. So you can say anything here. He started using uh, computers at a very uh, early age. So he is really good at it. Um, I told him about computer programs who work for companies like Google. Um, I also showed him the offices of Google and the facilities like the gym, the food, um, and other games. Uh, that are provided to the employees on campus. Okay, and we can say here he got motivated. So you actually motivate after learning all these details and decide and decided he also wanted to become a computer programmer. It can be anything. It can be your um, your friend. It can be your teacher. 
You can even give advice to your teacher about a book that you read. Okay, so I suggested him to take a test to check whether he has a logical mindset to a mindset to pursue the science stream. Okay. So you can say you followed my advice and gave and he get he, he had the test, uh, he results. So this can be the ending. Okay, so that's up there. I'll put us there. So here you can your conclusion can be um, he followed or he took my he followed my advice and uh, completed the test. Um, His results. Uh, I yeah. think um, the uh, you uh, you write the word pursue is wrong. Uh, I will check now. I'm just typing very fast. I'll check now. Uh, then we can say here he really. Oh, he was really happy with my advice. And now he consults uh, me for all the important decisions he has to make. Oh yes, I see now, I'll fix it now. Yes, yeah, so this, this is just an example. You can now give any, I'm typing too fast, that's why, so see. Um, you can give any example. This is an example of what you can write about. Now you can say to you, maybe your friend wants to buy, I'm doing it again. Now your friend wants to buy a toy, maybe. Can be anything, doesn't have to be studies. Your friend wants to buy a toy, but he has, or he wants to buy a computer game or a reading book. Your one friend wants, wants to, to buy a new reading book and you're giving advice about the book. You can say anything. It doesn't have to be a cousin or doesn't have to be about the studies. So your introduction will be, in my country, people give free advice. People like to help and care about each other. Today, I want to talk about uh, me, a, a time that I gave advice to my mother or to my baby sister, uh, my baby. And then you say what the problem is. And then you say why you gave the advice. And then you say if they followed your advice. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now, who would you want to give advice to? Maybe your brother, your sister, your cousin. Um, um I give uh, uh, I gave advice uh, to my classmates. Yes. Yes. Great. Now, what advice would you give them? Um. Uh. Uh. uh, he, uh he uh, he had uh, the opinion uh, to choose uh, between um, uh, computer games or books, uh, which is better. And uh, yes. I I I think he should um, buy uh, buy uh, some books to it. So it's books he wants to read. Yes. Okay. Uh, and, and what advice do you give them? Um, I, I, I uh, give, uh, I give him, um, and advice that uh, the advice that buy, but buy some books. Okay, so what book did he want to buy? Me, uh, the book named uh, 10,000 Questions of uh, Space. And uh, okay, so, you, so why why did you say that was the best one to buy? Because uh, 
com computer games is not good uh, for for students. It's uh, it's effect uh, it's effects of his uh, of his career in the future. Uh, but um, the uh, the science book help help him uh, get more knowledge and knowledge and uh, I think he good at science and space so he need more uh, he need more uh no knowledge uh, of um uh, space and um mm -hmm. now did he take your advice yes and now he's uh and now he's uh he has a good score uh in a scientist in uh, oh, wow. That's very good. Very good score. Yeah, that's great. And what did he say? Was he glad that he took your advice? Yes, I was really happy and he, he say thank you me. Yes. And now maybe when he wants advice again, he'll come to you and say, Khan, I've got another problem. And then you must give him some more advice. Okay, that's great. Great, Khan. Well done. And who gave you advice? Has mommy or your friends, your teacher given you good advice once? Did you get advice at your friends once or at mommy or maybe your cousin or maybe your teacher gave you advice? Yes, my father gave me the advice. Yes, um, what, what advice did your father give you? Uh, when I was in uh, grade four, uh, I have a I have a, I have a competition of um, coding programming and uh, yes. and math uh, and in math uh, and and doing math on computer. Um, I didn't know uh, what um, I didn't know what, what to uh, I, in, interest more. So my father um, told me math is math is better than coding programming and um, because um, it helped me calculate um, calculate uh, very well. And uh, with math, I can do more more thing uh, more thing uh, with math I, uh, I can I can do a lot of things. Also cutting programming, Meet, meet also programming, meet, meet math. So you took your dad's advice? Yes. Right. And, and it and was in good. Grade, and in grade five, um, uh, and uh, I, I, uh, I reached uh, the third, uh, the, the, the third of, um, coding programming uh, competition. Oh, and did you win the competition? Yes. Oh, and how did it go? Was it good? Yes, it's really good, then I think. Yes, and so did you say thank you to dad? Uh, of course. Yes, so you were happy about that? Yes. Yeah, that's great. Okay, do you want me to type it for you? Do you want to type it with me? What yes, are you, okay. you going to say? Okay. 
What are you, do you want to change the introduction or do you want to keep the introduction like that? Maybe your introduction is perfect. Yes, maybe we keep the introduction and let's say he followed my advice um, and he was really happy with my advice. We can just say here, you can just say something in, um, he followed my advice and completed Okay, we'll, we'll change that too for you. And show you excellent skills and he was really happy. Okay, we'll change that for you too. Okay, so let's do the what and the, uh -uh. let's say the what and the why. Okay, now first we say the what. Mm -hmm. Okay, first we're gonna say the what. Okay, what advice did you give? Oh no, sorry, mm. sorry, sorry, who? No, sorry, it's the who first. Who did you give advice to? Uh, I give advice to my classmates. Um, he's, uh, he's had uh, an uh, opinion uh, to choose uh, between um, uh, buy, between buying uh, computer games or a uh, science book. He was in two minds about buying a science book or a computer game. When you are in two minds, that means you don't know which one to choose. You either want to choose this one or that one. So your mind is in two. You have two decisions to, you have one decision to make, but it's two options, okay? So who today I want to talk about the time I gave advice to my classmate. He was in two minds about buying a science book or a computer game or computer game or a computer game. Okay. Now we say, what advice did you give him and the why? Okay. What advice did you give him? Um, I, I gave him an advice that buying uh, the buying uh, the book named 10,000 questions of space. So you told him to buy the science book instead? Yes. Okay. Um, I felt strongly about telling him that reading is one of the most important skills. Is one of the most important skills one can have. Um, there is a book called, what is the book called? 1000? 10,000 um, uh, questions uh, of space. 10,000 questions um, about space? Yes. Do it like that. There is a book called 10,000 Questions About Space. Which I recommended to him. My classmate loves space and science. And this was a great way to further his knowledge okay why else did you tell him he loves space and science and this is a great way to further his knowledge why else was it only to further his knowledge that you wanted to give it to him or was he interested in fun facts or was it for a project at school or to prepare for a test um he's um uh, also, he's um, do uh, he's do some projects uh, that uh, uh, science projects uh, that my teacher uh, uh, my teacher gave us. He's do very good. Okay. And, uh, yes. So you can say not only. 
is it a great fun fact book? It is also a book he can use uh, for a lifetime in any such uh, in any how can I say a lifetime. Um, this book can help him with his future studies, such as preparing for tests, projects, and orals, oral presentations. Okay, now we're gonna say this book can help him with his future studies, such as preparing for tests, projects, and oral presentations. Okay. Um, I felt strongly about telling him that reading is one of the most important skills one can have. There is a book called 10,000 Questions About Space, which I recommended to him. My classmate loves space and science, and this was a great way to further his knowledge. Not only is it a great fun fact book, it's also a book he can use for a lifetime. This book can help him with his further studies, with his future studies, such as preparing for... Okay, anything else you want to say? Okay, yeah, we can stop there, that's fine. Okay, let's see now the conclusion. Um, here. Conclusion is he followed my advice. Okay, and what happened when he followed your advice? He did well with the science test or project or... And achieved, you can say, achieved great marks in his science test, yeah? A project? Yes. Okay, so this is good. We have, we have a very high score. Yes, a high score. He achieved great marks in his science test. He followed my advice and achieved great marks in his science test. He was really happy with my advice, and now he consults me for all the important decisions he was to, he wants to make. Sorry, mm, this one is wants to make. He wants to make. Wants to make. Okay, good. Let's see if you can read it to me. I'm going to finish off now. Okay, let's see if you can read it. Okay, read it to me. Um, well, in my country, people give free advice to, uh, to each other at uh, other time. People give advice even when nobody is asking. Um, they do it to show care and help. Uh, others. Today, I want to uh, talk about the time I gave advice to my classmates. Um, he was in two minds about uh, buying a science book or a computer game. I felt strongly about telling him that reading is the one of the most important skills uh, one can important skill one can have there is a book called uh, 10,000 questions uh, of space which I recommend to to him my classmates uh, loves uh, space and science uh, and this uh, was a great way to feature his knowledge Future his knowledge. Uh, not only it is it is uh, a great fun fact book, it is also a book he can use for the lifetime. This book can help him with his future, uh, his future studies such as preparing for tests, projects, and oral presentations. He followed my advice and achieved 
the, the great Marx in his science test. He was really happy with my advice and now he consults uh, me for all the, um, the important decisions he wants to make. Good. Yes, well done. How do you feel about that? Great. I feel great that I um, have, uh, have helped him. Yes, perfect. That's great. Okay, so we're going to stop here. You did a good job today, okay? I'll see you next time, Con. Goodbye, Bye, teacher. Bye,